less than one year old Passport uh, Elite Model 23RB just was traded in here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Absolutely nothing wrong with the trailer. Um, actually, the folks were very happy with it. Uh, they, uh, in their own words, miscalculated how much they were going to go camping, how long they were going to stay, and how many people were going to stay with them. Um, they were a, a, a couple who thought they would just zip around, you know, for you know a weekend or two here or there. Uh, by the way, what we're looking at here is a very large pass-through storage, and the reason I wanted to show that is also how wide the door is. To give you an idea of scope and scale, put my hand next to it so you can see how big that thing is. You can actually put big lawn chairs and all your toolboxes and stuff down there. Not to mention, I like you to be able to see everything's, uh, you know, all of your aluminum framework and everything under here and how clean it is. So, that's kind of what I was getting at. Very good couple. Very sweet people. And they intended on owning this thing a lot longer than they did. Um, but, uh, uh, they went out uh, uh, and found out that they ended up staying instead of two or three days, two or three weeks at different places, and it started to feel a little small on them, and I, I kind of understand that. It's got a, a nice sofa slide, but this is definitely not a big double slide monster living room. Um, well, they swapped, they also found out the grandkids and the kids always wanted to stay. So they swapped this out. They were so happy with their passport, they just upgraded to a larger passport with more sleeping capacity and a bigger slide. So this is basically uh, a new used camper. That's that's the best way I can describe it. Passport Elite Series has some upgrades beyond the common uh, Passport Ultralight, also known as the Grand Touring. Frameless windows here are really cool because they keep the window frame under the window pane, and uh, that helps keep the uh, you know uh, seal from prematurely uh, degrading in the sun. The other thing is, if you notice, half this window opens, and it opens in a jowlessy style. It opens outward. Now, they do put standard windows in the side of the slide out for really good cross breezes. You see the slide out awning topper up here. That's something that uh, they put on again with the idea of long term ownership and investment uh, because that was uh, intended to you know help protect the slide and keep this thing in great shape for a long time. You see the max air cover above the bathroom vent up here. That is uh, really nice because it allows you to keep that vent fan running even in the rain so that uh, you can have a you know nice airflow going in your camper if you don't want to run the AC. Uh, you know, we're parked right next to this other trailer here, so I can't really run out the awning, but this is a nice, easy operated power awning. Um, the uh, underbelly is also enclosed. I forgot to snap a picture off of that now that I mentioned. So you see that the nice part about this is the critter prevention. It slip streams down the down the road a little easier because there's less open skeleton work. Um, the other uh, thing I wanted to point out here, very shiny, good looking aluminum wheels. Now um, this has a, a little door strut down here so that the door is not going to flip open in the wind. You might have noticed the wind clip in the camera a little bit. My apologies for that. Have not yet learned how to control Mother Nature. Um, so here's the you know the meat and potatoes of the floor plan, the the biggest part of the living room. This is a, a big sleeper sofa over here, so that can fold out into an extra sleeping space. 23 foot lightweight camper, and we still have central air and heat. That's the nicer stuff you find in a Passport. That's why they're Keystone's best selling lightweight, and in their price bracket, they're by far the best selling lightweight. Um, up front, we have a, uh, that looks like that is, that's a full 80 inch queen bed, a true queen. Both sides of the bed, you notice, have uh, big stands over here. You can actually put some big fans and whatnot there, and you can run them because you have power outlets on both sides of the bed. Um, I don't have any lights on right now, and even with some windows pulled, you can see how comfortable it is inside of here. But if you remember how dark those windows were outside, you can see out, but you can't see into the camper, so you get light and privacy. Now the uh, the TV is on, well this is the factory TV, so that's nice too. It's like, what is this, like a 39 inch big monster TV. But it's on a swing arm, so you can move it around, it can face the bedroom, the kitchen, the living room, it can face wherever you want. And right here around the corner is our all-in-one AM, FM, CD, DVD, stereo, Bluetooth enabled outside speakers. It slices, it dices, it juliennes, it does everything. Um, oh, underbed storage. This has a pretty generously sized underbed storage pocket. This space right here is needed a little bit for some of the mechanics of the trailer. My estimation there is probably a holding tank, something like that. I have to look where the fresh water fill line is. But this is a nice inside storage pocket for extra things like blankets and linens you're not gonna use every day. And look, this is real wood. This is not press board, particle board. This is real stuff designed to hold up over the long-term use and ownership that an RV is going to uh, you know, absorb and endure. Nice classy little touches like a little coat rack here. 
And uh, I love these little bar stools. I'm a sucker. I'm a sucker for bar stools. I love anytime I see that in a camper, sold. You got me. I love it. I don't know why. Um, this does feature solid surface upgraded countertops. And look at the shine. Again, you know, <laughs> they kept this thing clean. This thing's ready to go camping. Um, the uh, sink area over here has a big giant basin sink. Again, to give you an idea of scope and scale, that's a pretty big size sink. And your sink covers here slip down to be countertop flush so that you have extended countertop space all the way around. Uh, your overhead cabinetry here also is something I've always liked in the Passport. And let me show you what I mean. Everybody knows what this is, the old microwave tray. This is the size of a dinner plate. Look how big that is. That is a huge cabinet with a lot of storage potential. Um, oh, one thing I forgot to mention on the AC. I'm going to put this back real quick before I forget and get in trouble because I've done that before. Um, the air conditioner up here has this handy little vent flip uh, switch. This is called a cold air dump. It'll drop all the cold air right here in the living room. Uh, what that's going to do is when you first set up, you can get your living room nice and cooled down easily. Then you close that and it'll start to shunt the air through your central air vents so that you get better cooling up here by your headboard and your rear bedroom. Um, your kitchen storage here is pretty phenomenal. You have four of these full extension pull-out drawers on ball bearing glides. Extra storage space under the sink. Big pots and pans space there. Extra storage everywhere. This is a great camper. Um, speaking of storage, this rear closet is your best friend. Let me open that up. So, just like we have the little coat closet up front, this thing is like a quadruple size wardrobe if you're in comparison to the uh, his and hers wardrobes on each side of the bed. You have extra linen or just generic pantry storage space over here. Uh, the This is the perfect utility drawer for like uh, flashlights and stuff like that. Um, before I forget, because this is something, if I didn't point it out, basically I don't think anyone would catch because it's very subtle. This is a larger refrigerator. And you look at it, you go, hmm, looks the same to me. That's because this is, uh, it's a 7 cubic foot instead of a 6. It's 17% bigger. The other thing is, you probably can't read this off my camera, but this, uh, the cooling element in this is either electric or helium based. Why that's important. If this camper, like if you're pulling along uh, the like a, a parking lot at night and the parking lot's not level, you can run this on propane. Most gas-powered RV refrigerators have to be pretty much level to work properly, and most people don't know that. That's why you come to a big dealership like ours to take advantage of our you know knowledge and experience in this business. I love that fifth wheel shower in a travel trailer. That is sharp. Um, so again, you know, if you are jet setting around for longer trips on a weekend, or you're not sure where you're going to call home, or you get a goofy campsite that just can't get level, this is it. This is the perfect fridge for you. And like I said, it's a brand new used camper. This thing is sharp. Give us a call, 800-256-5196. Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, everybody. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camping.